Hello Taurus, thank you so much for being here. I really, really, really appreciate it. Please subscribe, share, and at least like. I'm uh, still working on my internet stuff and uh, once my house is done, I, I should be able to have more time to go find a place to sit to upload. Um, I apologize for all the delays and I appreciate you staying with me. So this is your love reading for Taurus. Taurus, 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 <gasps> the chariot card. Hmm, well, you do have some control in uh, moving this forward. This is about moving things forward and just remember that you have to support it. There's two people here too. Don't forget that. Let's see, here. oh boy. Excuse me, we have cards flying all over the place again. I don't know what it is today. Cards want to talk. Every reading I've done, the cards have gone flying. So, and then once I get situated, oh, page of cups, Taurus. So there's two things here. The page could be a younger water sign, or this could be a new relationship. Wow, check this out. Wow, okay, this is very interesting now. So things moving forward. Now the Page of Swords could be an air sign, which would be your Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Page of Cups would be your Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It could also just mean a new beginning in communication um, in relation to a new love offer. Um, the Three of Swords. Hmm. Now, I'm gonna clarify this because the way the cards came out, I'm unsure which, what, what the order was. So let's clarify the Three of Swords for Taurus. The Three of Swords can talk about a third party situation. It can talk just about heartbreak or something not working out. So clarify the Three of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Three of Swords. We got the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups. It's... <laughs> wow, I'm having a complete and utter moment, like a blank. In the Cups, instead of this one, instead of her having Cups, she has candles. And it's what she's... It looks like she's blowing them out. And there are three gone and two left. And because I'm having a pardon the expression, brain fart moment, I'm going to read because I just, all of a sudden, I'm thinking something's not right and I'm not, ah, uh, that's what it is. Mourning, feelings of loss, sadness, regret, repentance, bitterness, frustration, difficult choices. So I feel like this reading is for a Taurus who you've had some problems. And so although the chariot says there is an opportunity the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups say new love opportunities, possibly with either an air or a water sign. The Three of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups, means that you are afraid to do anything because you are still remembering the pain and sorrow from a prior relationship. Which, with the Mercury Retrograde beginning as I'm doing this, to me means that you could be closing that out because retrogrades are times to re-go over look over again and maybe what this is saying is it's time to, to to get rid of that it's time to move forward because if you keep doing that you can't move forward if you keep focusing on the past and then interestingly enough you know, here we go the high priest learning moving learning moving on Eight of Wands, fast communication. Are you meeting some, maybe one of these people you met on the internet or because of something on the internet that you were learning? Death could be dealing with a Scorpio, which would be your water sign. Could also be a transformation. Remember I said you have to, you have to put the old, the past to bed to move on to the future, to have a new love. And I believe the High Priest is about your learning and moving on communicating possibly with a Scorpio changing your life 
two of pentacles, learning how to balance things out. Now, the two of pentacles can be juggling. So this also could speak to a Torian who is seeing two people, or maybe you're talking to two different people on a, a website or an app or something, and you're deciding what to do, and there's a lot of communication, and you're learning about these people to decide. So Taurus, a relationship, like I said, the chariot card, the chariot is about you being able to move forward. You having to, you know, you can move it forward, not physically, but mentally. You have that option. The Three of Swords says you're afraid, you've been hurt before. And the other cards are saying, this sounds like it's the time to, to put it to bed. Yeah, Two of Wands. It's time to start looking to the future, you know, with passion. It's time to do, you know, look into the future and plan a future. So to me, this is what I'm saying. This is saying it's time for you to move on, move forward. There are opportunities. If you look for them, respond to your messages, you have opportunities for you. Yeah, opportunities for the Ten of Pentacles. This is everything you could want in a relationship. It's security. It's comfort. It's monetary, you know, comfort. It's a happy home, happy family. So you can have it all. You just have to decide to move forward. So I like it, Taurus. So this makes a lot of sense. Mercury retrograde, you know, get over things, move forward. You know, it all, it's all just perfect timing. So let's see here. Let's get you a Romance Angel card. And then I'm going to get you one Angel Tarot card. So Romance Angel card for Taurus. <gasps> you deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. You have to believe that you are lovable. You have to move on from the past. It doesn't matter what anybody said about you in the past. That's somebody who was not happy. And more than likely, it was them not happy with themselves, not you. So you have to be happy with you. You love you. And take advantage of an opportunity. Someone says, want to meet for coffee? Meet for coffee. Be safe. You know, trust your gut. If your gut says, eat, eat, don't know, then don't. But you're lovable. You have to believe that. So you can move forward. Woo! And that's so funny. I said, you have to believe that. And what do you get? The three of air, which is the three of swords in the other decks. Great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. There you go. It's saying the exact same thing. You got to move past. You got to forgive others. Forgive yourself. It's time to move on. Put it to bed. Say goodbye. If you have to, write down on a piece of paper, I am moving forward into a happy, healthy wonderful life you know safely light it on fire or just rip it up into pieces and and get rid of it you're done move forward so thank you so much for being here taurus thank you for staying with me thank you for liking sharing and subscribing and the best of luck to you remember you are lovable bye taurus